Here's part of the problem. I know for a fact that I'm not living in reality. This bullshit that I'm living, I know it's not reality. The question is, how the fuck do I get back to reality? Now, I haven't been living in reality for a very long time. How do I know this? Because I know the symbols and signs of reality. I know what is and is not reality, and I know that confuses a lot of people. I know that a lot of people are gonna claim that I'm crazy and all kinds of other bullshit because the fact of the matter is, if I was living in reality, my life would be very different, but I'm not. In reality, I wouldn't have people like uh, Happy Cabby and Tim in my life. I would have never encountered uh, scummy bags of shit like them. I wouldn't have only 200 some subscribers on my YouTube. I wouldn't be ridiculed endlessly for my ideas, especially when other people are celebrated for those very same ideas. That's reality. I know that I would have a car, I know that I'd be driving, I know that I'd be living in my own fucking house, I know, I mean, I'd be living in reality. This shit, I don't know what the fuck this shit is. I know it's not reality. So the question is, how do I fucking get back to reality? You know, how do I get back to reality? That's the question. I don't know. How do I get back to reality? You know? Like, I feel more and more that this world that I'm living in, this universe, it's like... It's like I, I don't know, it's, it's like at some point I must have like blacked out or gotten knocked unconscious or, so, you know, stumbled through a fucking portal of some kind and ended up in this anti-reality universe. Now, reality does occasionally enforce itself into this world. You know, you look at something like, uh, you know, me having a Ford Mustang convertible that's reality. You look at uh, Donald Trump winning the election. That's reality. You look at all these signs and symbols of what is and is not reality. You can tell if you're fucking intelligent enough, which sadly most people aren't. You can tell there's a battle of reality versus anti-reality. Problem is, most people are not spiritually aware nor are they very intelligent. Therefore, they think that whatever they happen to uh, see in front of them is somehow magically reality, when in reality, it's the complete opposite. And it's frustrating, because when you talk about reality, you're talking about logic, reason, evidence, empirical proof, reality. When you talk about anti-reality, you're talking about magical thinking. You look at, for example, the SJWs with their bullshit uh, about feminism, racism, sexism, Islam, all this other bullshit. You know, if you studied reality, that that's anti-reality. Because it has nothing to do with fucking facts and reality. And yes. Yep, people will sit there and go along with it because they're not willing to fucking uh, experiment with what is and is not reality. They're willing to believe whatever an authority tells them, even if that authority is delusional. You know, they look at the media. They look at religion, they look at government, and they think that they know what reality is. They don't. So you got people like me who know what is and is not reality, and I'm made to be, I'm made to look like a fool. I'm turned into a criminal. 
by people who are wholly and completely committed to anti-reality. You know? Somebody like uh, Tim. An enemy of a, uh, an enemy of reality. You look at somebody like Christian Fairy Tale, an enemy of reality. Now, that said, there's different reasons that people choose to make themselves enemies of reality. Somebody like Tim, he's violating the laws of reality. He knows what reality is, but he's fighting against it because he knows, in reality, he'd be in a lot worse position than he is. That's reality. Now, he could join the rest of us, like myself, and battle for reality. You know, go into fucking battle with honor and virtue and integrity and reason and fucking fight for reality. But he won't do it. He won't do it. Because he's too much of a fucking gutless bitch. And you got, you know, people like Christian Fairy Tale who's so fucking broken that uh, he's just given up. He's just like, yeah, whatever. You've fucking given up. Of course you have idiots, you know, in every realm, in every place, whether it's mainstream media, whether it's, um, whether it's um, the quirky forum, whether it's whatever, who are so fucking committed to anti-reality that they're willing to fucking destroy reality for the sake of anti-reality. It's and what they are representational of, actually. And you can see this in, according to the laws of reality. These people who violate the laws of reality willfully... You know, it's like you've, you've all seen the movies where... where there's these, like, uh evil henchmen, right? And these evil henchmen, they're willing to sacrifice their lives for the big bad. And some of them, sometimes they look surprised when the big bad goes ahead and lets them die. Because the fact of it is, is they're serving anti-reality. They're serving the forces of anti-reality. And me, I'm sitting here screaming at the top of my lungs about reality. I'm sitting there saying, hey, let's get back to reality. I'm like, hey, wake up. Wake up to reality. Wake up, motherfuckers. Wake up to reality. This is why they attack me, because they know that I can wake people up. So they have to destroy my credibility. They have to destroy every little bit of credibility that I have. They have to destroy my reputation. They have to make me look like a, like a criminal, like a monster. That's what Tim did. Tim was serving anti-reality. In reality, in reality, the Abrahamic traditions of Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever you want to call it, Judaism, Islam, all that stuff. In reality, those are known to be false religions. Those are known to be cults. Those are known to be bullshit. And in reality, people sit there and treat the Abrahamic traditions like they would treat Scientology or Heaven's Gate. They'd be like, <laughs> you're a cult, Christians. Jewish, Jewish, you're a cult. Muslims, you're obviously a cult. <laughs> For that is the law of reality. The signs and symbols of reality. You would know reality by people waking up and saying, Oh, wait, I know that this, that this religious system is absolute bullshit because it tells me to beat women, beat and molest children, all this other shit. That's how you know it's not reality. That's, not how, that's how you know it's bullshit. Because in reality, people respect each other. In reality, people acknowledge virtue and reason and empirical evidence. That's reality. So you sit there, you come onto my YouTube channel, and you try to convince me of the bullshit that somehow your fantasy, your anti-reality, your fucking nonsense is somehow reality. Bullshit. I'm going to fucking call you out. 
because I know what is and is not reality, and I'm going to fucking stand up for reality. That is reality. That's about all. Have a day.